Hey there Seahawks, it's Miss Adams, and in this video we're going to learn about the general multiplication rule and tree diagrams. Alright, we use the general multiplication rule to find the probability that event A and B both occur. Alright, the equation is the probability of A and B is equal to the probability of A times the probability of B given A. And then tree diagrams is a tool we use to help find probability, so the probability of each outcome is shown on their corresponding branch of the tree. All probabilities after the first stage are conditional probabilities. All right, the general multiplication rule. Smartphones seem to just to be just about everywhere. While internet access has become an important part of many people's lives, not everyone accesses the internet at home in the same way. Some U.S. adults have broadband internet access at home. Some have smartphone access via cellular data, and some have both kinds of access. Based on a recent Pew Research Survey, Center survey, 81% of U.S. adults own a smartphone, and 17% of those who own smartphones don't have broadband internet at home. Find the probability that a randomly selected U.S. adult owns a smartphone and doesn't have broadband at home. So. Here's the information they gave us. Here's what we're trying to find. Owns a smartphone and doesn't have broadband internet at home. And you could shorten these with like S for smart smartphone and B for broadband. And then this would be not broadband. So B complement. Um, so I need to do the probability they own a smartphone times the probability that they don't have broadband given they own a smartphone. Because that's what um, the 17% part is. So. 81% um, own a smartphone is what they told us. And then it says of those that own a smartphone, 17% don't have broadband. So they don't have broadband given they own a smartphone was the 17%. If I multiply these, I get 0.1377. All right, tree diagrams. Recently, Harris Interactive reported that 20% of millennials age 18 to 36 25% of Gen Xers age 37 to 48, 21% of baby boomers age 49 to 67, and 17% of matures age 68 and older read more ebooks than paper books. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, 34% of those 18 and over are millennial, 22% are Gen Xers, 30% it are baby boomers and 14% are matures. Assume that all of the results are accurate. Draw a tree diagram to model this chance process. All right, so first we have adults responding to the Harris poll. We're going to break them up into their different age groups. So we have millennial, Gen X, baby boomers, mature. All right, um, and then we're going to break them down into read, read ebooks more often, don't read ebooks, and so on. All right, so 34% of the people that responded were millennial. Um, according to the U.S. Census Bureau, 34% of those 18 and over are millennials. Yeah, so the 34% is coming from millennials, 22% Gen X, 30% baby boomers, and 14% mature. Then out of the millennials, so... 20% of millennials um, read more ebooks than paper books. So, uh, read ebooks would be 0.2 for millennials, which means that don't read more ebooks would be 0.8. Uh, for Gen X, it was 25%, which means don't read would be 75%. I'm just doing one minus that. Uh, of the baby boomers, 21% read more ebooks than paper books, which leaves us with 79% for paper books. 17% uh, of mature read more ebooks than paper, which leaves us with 83. Again, I did just 1 minus the 0.17 to get 0.83. All right, and then if I wanted to calculate a specific probability of one thing, I would multiply across the branch. All right. Uh, find the probability that a randomly chosen person reads more ebooks than paper books. So I'm going to do all of the probability they read more ebooks. I'm going to do every single one for each group that chose read ebooks. So 0.34 times 0.2 
plus 0.22 times 0.25, plus 0.30 times 0.21, plus 0.14 times 0.17. Again, I'm multiplying across the branch. So millennial, read ebooks. Gen X, read ebooks. Um, baby boomer, read ebooks. Mature, read ebooks. I'm multiplying across that branch. All right, so we get 0 0.0680 plus 0 0.0550 plus 0 0.0630, plus 0 0.0238, which comes together to be 0 0.2098, so about 21%. Part C, a randomly selected U.S. adult reads more ebooks than hardcover books. What is the probability that this person is a millennial? All right, so this is the probability that they are millennial given they read more ebooks. So on the top with conditional probability is going to be millennial and reads more ebooks divided by reads more ebooks. So millennial and reads more ebooks. It'd be uh, 0 0.34 times 0 0.2 divided by 0 0.2098, which is the total for reads more ebooks that I just calculated part B. And that gives me 0 0.068 divided by 0 0.2098 is about 32.4%, 0.3241. All right, go Seahawks.